Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my top 20 selling comic books of the week. This time is episode 136. And tonight I will be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week ending the 6th of June 2021. Now since coverprice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. And they scour thousands of eBay sales to culminate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. Starting in at number 20, we've got a, an incentive, and this is a recent release. And after her debut in Black Widow issue 6, Lucy Nugian reveals her powers in this issue. What issue? Black Widow issue 7. This is the Nabnetesi Zytro 1 in 25 variant. Nothing really grabs me about this incentive cover, I've got to be honest. But I do believe I have been sent a Black Widow issue, either six or seven as an AOK. -okay. It's arrived today. I'm looking forward to opening it to find out what I've got. This issue also introduces a new villain called Opogee. Opogee, A-P-O-G-E-E. -E. Now this variant is apparently quite tough to find in stores. Hence it sold 16 copies had a seven day trend a plus 203 percent with a high sale raw copy going for 60 dollars that is the napetesi zitro incentive number 19 on our list marvel again but this time we're going back to 1998 and deadline reported that danielle guerrera is to reprise her akai role in black panther wakanda forever and a Disney Plus Origin spin-off series. Now, with Okoye and Zuri and Naomi and the Dora Milaje's first appearance in this issue, you can see why it is very hot. The book is, of course, Black Panther issue number one from 1998. Yeah, bang for your buck with this issue. I paid £14 for my copy in the middle of 2018 in the local antique centre. Basically, just because I knew that Akoye was going to be in the Black Panther movie or had just been in it. This book sold 23 copies. It had a seven-day trend plus 151% and a CGC 9.6 went for a nice $397. Mine's pretty high grade. It's probably in the nines, so... Uh, that £14 looks a good investment. Number 18 on our list. And uh, there's been a lot of news at the m just of late about a Midnight Suns movie that is supposedly in the works. Yeah, the MCU are going supernatural and I like that. Well, the big book is Ghost Rider issue 28. The first cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns. You also have the first appearance of the caretaker in that issue. Lilith, Meat Market, the Night Stalkers team that were in the Blade Trinity movie. So, real great issue. Number 28 isn't our number 18 on our list, but 31 is. And this is the first full appearance of the Midnight Suns, a.k.a. the Nine. And that is Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, Morbius, Blade, Doctor Strange... Hannibal King, Frank Drake, Victoria Montesi, Louise Hastings, and Sam Buchanan. Okay, guys, uh, this is the part six of six, the final issue where the uh, Midnight Suns take on the Lilf. Originally, it comes polybagged with a poster. Mine is not polybagged, but I only paid 75 pence for this copy. This book sold 28 copies, giving it a seven day trend of plus 121% with a high sale raw that was still sealed going for $29. I'm happy enough with my 75p copy. 17 on our list. As most of we are aware, there is an independent series that is going very, very well at the moment, and that is Something is Killing the Children. And the regular issues and one in fact all the number one first printings different covers are very very expensive right now so collectors are turning to this affordable option what is it number 17 on our list is something is killing the children but this is the local comic shop day exclusive foil edition 
and uh, prices are starting to go up on this one. It's a nice affordable option. It sold 33 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 102% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for a whopping at $170. Crazy stuff. I received this as a AOK -okay from my good friend JT Rogers across the pond in America. So a uh, brilliant AOK. -okay. And just to show off a little bit, I've showed them before. I have the regular cover that I paid uh, £4.35 for online from Forbidden Planet. And you know the story, it's a good read. A small American town in crisis is visited by a strange woman who claims that she can see and slay the invisible monsters that are savagely killing their children. This is the regular worth of Del Adira cover, a book that raw now, probably 300 quid, which is insane stuff. It apparently has been optioned or in early negotiations, according to James Tinian. To go with the regular, I have the Jay Lee and Jun Chung variant. Uh, I passed on the frizzle and one at the time. I just really like this color, color scheme. It was uh, really striking. I'm not gonna pay for that, 435 again. Number 16, I've just showed you issue 31. Now there's been no official confirmation about the Midnight Suns, but uh, let's, let's be honest. Marvel need that supernatural element. We're getting Moon Knight, we're getting Dracula in that by all accounts. Uh, the Werewolf by Night is apparently coming into it. So they're building up a sl slow repertoire, and they, uh, a, 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 a repertoire, it's not the word, but a sl they're early indications that we're getting that team together. And uh, we're getting Blade as well, so Let's get the Midnight Suns. And this is Ghost Rider issue 28. This is a book that has been on fire. I have sold a couple lately. Uh, I sold one the other day for 27. I think I paid a pound for it or something. Uh, I've got another bid just coming for another copy. I've just listed for 20. So that's the kind of prices we're talking at the moment. I can't wait to see the Supernatural side. This book sold 38 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 98% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $75.99. I think that is a smart investment. And a uh, pound for that one, still polybagged, which is a real nice bonus. But I also have the unpolybagged version for a nice read. And it was a book that I didn't really enjoy reading the first time around, but I went back and revisited it and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. That's the first cameo appearance of The Midnight Suns. Number 15 on our list. And we've got some Eternals uh, footage out there now, haven't we? We've had the trailer. I don't normally watch trailers, but I sat through it with my boy Ethan and we, we enjoyed what we saw. And uh, this book is heating up now because one of the characters, which was Cersei, was front and centre of that trailer. 15 on our list is Eternals number three. And this is the first appearance of Cersei. Uh, Going to be played by uh, Gemma Chan. We already played Dr. Minerva, is it, in the uh, Captain Marvel movie? So in this one, we've also got the first appearance of Brup, uh, Rhaegar, and Shamar and Sluice. Now, prior to this issue in Strange Tales 109, a blonde version of Cersei uh, briefly is referred to as Cersei with a C I R C E uh, spelling. This includes a letter by future comic book writer Ralph Macchio. There we go, I am full of info. I write tons on the back of my books. And uh, this book sold 38 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 99% with a high sale CGC 9.8, going for a whopping $1,295. Uh, dollars. I paid two pound and eight pence for mine in Bristol Excelsior Comics, and that was in early 2018. I had a really nice run of Eternals for two quid a piece. That was that was shortly after the the movie news broke as well. Fourteen on our list. We're getting Let There Be Carnage, uh, the Venom Two movie. The secondary villain we all know now is in this book. That is Spider Man Unlimited issue one. Yeah, the secondary villain is Shriek, who is Francis Louise Barrison. I haven't seen this trailer yet. I'm trying to stay away because I'm a big fan of Woody Harrelson and I reckon he's going to do Carnage and the Venom uh, film, A Power of Good. This book sold 51 copies at a seven-day trend plus 79%. 
and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $299. I paid two quid for mine in the middle of 2017 in Sirencester in the comic shop. 13 on our list and uh, we've got a new book and this comes from IDW and the last Ronin issue 3 finally came out and it is trending again. This time, number 13 on our list, we have the 1 in 10 incentive from Freddie Williams. Here is your cover, guys. I can't imagine too many of you will have that one. I must admit, I was offered last Ronin issue 1 in my local shop for about 15 quid. But it just it never really appealed to me. It's magazine size for a start. And there's nothing too much in the guts of the book, I don't think. Well, this 1 in 10 sold 56 copies and it had a 7 day trend plus 71% with a high sale raw copy going for $49.99. Number 12 on our list and we're sticking with the Venom theme. I've just spoke about Carnage and everything. And uh, this book comes from 1993. It's a book I've had the opportunity to pick up in a con before now, but every copy I seem to find is pretty beat up and, and I want a decent copy of this because I like the character in the first Venom film course of the actress uh, Michelle Williams was in The Greatest Showman. Yeah, that was a guilty pleasure of mine. I like that film. She portrayed the character Anne Wying and people are anticipating she would return for Venom too, of course. The book, you know it guys, number 12 on our list is Amazing Spider-Man and it is issue 375. And this is like a gold foil cover, isn't it? And it is very hard to get in high grade. Because foil covers really mark up easily. But I have booked my first con. I am going to the Collectomania con in Birmingham in September. I think it's the 3rd and 4th. If any of my UK subscribers are planning on going down there, I'll have me Daz the Key Chaser shirt on. Come and visit me. We'll hang out, pick up some books. It'll be good fun. Okay, so what did that book do? Well, it sold 19 copies at a seven day trend plus 214% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $515. Uh, Charles Dance is one of the uh, actors that have just been lined up to appear at that con actually. I'm getting off track a little bit, but I just rewatched one of my favorite, probably my favorite vampire film along with 30 Days of Night and that was Dracula Untold. And uh, Charles Dance, of course, plays the main, uh, well, the vampire that turns Dracula. Number 11 on our list is a book that I have just listed on my eBay page. It's a shameless plug here. $59.99 and I've got a watcher already. We've had the trailer from 1976. It is Eternals issue number one. A great issue. It's the first appearance and origin of the Eternals team. The first appearance of Icarus who is going to be in the movie. We got the first appearance of the Deviance team, uh, Brother Toad, Margaret Damien, Crow, Cataphract, Dr. Damien, Vira is the first mention of the Celestials. This book went off radar a little bit, but due to the trailer, which I enjoyed, it is going back up now. And the trailer helped sell 49 copies. Had a seven day trend of plus 105%. With a high sale CGC 9.6, going for $999.99. I have two copies, so don't worry, I'll still have one in the PC. I was looking at now in which one to get rid of. Uh, the problem with this one, as you can see, is a little bit of a, I guess it was a, a tape port or a sticker pull. Just, just a little bit there, but it's a nice copy of it than that. Where I was going to sell this one, but I decided to keep this one and get rid of this one. It's got a, it's a VG copy, but you know, the Eternals issues over here at least, what I see on eBay, most of them are Pence copies. So those Sense ones are in demand. We're into the top 10 and it's a mixed bag from me so far. Number 10 on our list from 1996, this issue features the first appearance of Onslaught and his reappearance is at the end of X-Men Way of X issue two, has stirred a lot of interest in this book. 1996 X-Men issue 53. Yeah, I got the book, of course. And this is a, well, I say of course, I haven't got more, have I? Uh, this is, the Onslaught is a Charles Xavier and Eric uh, Lenshaw, basically Magneto uh, hybrid, I guess. Uh, paid two quid for my copy. 
This book sold 41 copies at a seven day trend plus 130% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $265. Like I said, this is the um, first full appearance and I believe if I'm not mistaken that the cameo appearance comes in this issue. And I can't even remember what issue it is. Is it, it's quite early, I know that. Sorry guys, I can't even read my own uh, notes on that one, but I think that's the cameo appearance. Wow, not like me to not be uh, in the know-how. Number nine on our list, this is a book uh, from 1992. I went looking for this in Worcester recently, No Joy. This book is the first meeting of Wolverine and Venom. And uh, this book was showcased on a podcast and it took off due to the long-term potential. And it's a bit of a nostalgic book as well. What is it? It is Marvel Comics Presents issue 117. I certainly would not be paying the money that people are. It's a decent cover. But I can imagine it will be ages before we see Wolverine and Venom teamed up. I'll find a copy before then. <laughs> Uh, what did it do? It sold 17 copies at a seven day trend of plus 353%. The high sale CGC 9.8 going for $140. And uh, now, number eight on our list. I've just sold number one to the second volume of this. This is a independent book. And it comes from Top Cow, or Image Comics, I would say. And uh, Deadline announced that Adam Wingard is. To to direct a hardcore film for Universal and Robert Kirkman. And uh, the series features uh, first appeared during uh, Top Cow's 2010 pilot season. I made a hot comic book alert about this. Now, if you recall, uh, Top Cow tested various uh, comic concepts through their pilot season. And if readers responded well to it, then it continued on to a full or limited season, uh, series. However, Kirkman and Silvestri's uh, Hardcore did not. And flash forward to 2018 when the title was refreshed under Skybound in the new Hardcore for 2018 series. And the similarities were very close. The biggest change is centered around how assassins take over the bodies of random people by taking a hardcore shot to the spine. Now in the new series, they do it via VR headsets. No, this film would be developing the more recent 2018 version, which I believe I have just sold for £1.99, so I'm kicking myself a little bit. Despite this, the hard-to-find second print of the first version from 2012 is number eight on our list. Here it is. And I, I do like these covers to the original Hardcore series. There we go. That is the second printing. As you can tell, it's a bit of a white background. The regular does not have a white background. That book, so like I said, sold uh, 12 copies at a seven day trend of plus 536% with a high sale raw copy going for $58. Number seven on our list is a book from 2016. It is another book that I was looking for. And uh, this issue features the first appearance of Victor Von Doom as Iron Man. And uh, Tony Stark, uh, the AI of Tony Stark, the third version. This book is now trending due to strong speculation that Robert Downey Jr. will be the AI voice in the Ironheart Disney Plus show. What is your book? I couldn't find it. This is Infamous Iron Man, issue number one. And like I said, this comes from 2016, guys. I do like that cover. What numbers did it do? But it sold 41 copies at a seven day trend of plus 159% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $250. Wow, I wish I had money to spend on books like that. Number six on our list. Like I said, I went to Worcester hoping to find some of the hotter books and I managed to find one of them. This book, I made a hot comic book alert about on this character, a character that is supposedly coming into the Captain America 4 movie with Sam Wilson, of course, as Captain America. It is from 2006. It is the first appearance of Red Skull's daughter, Cynthia Schmidt, as Sin in Captain America, issue 16. A book I just picked up um, last Wednesday, actually, for £2.72. A nice minty copy at that. This book is trending. 
Of course, she first appeared as Mother Superior, and then and that was in Captain America issue 290, and then I think it's 612 Captain America that she becomes the Red Skull. Well, Cynthia Schmidt, Red Skull's daughter, the news of it made this book sell 17 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus four, 441%, with a high sale CGC 9.8, went for $599.99. We haven't even had official confirmation yet. It's insane. £2.72 would do me. Number five on our list uh, is a, an option book recently that came from Image. I have three different number one co uh, covers. I'm excited for this. I enjoyed it. A story which is basically uh, Ghostbusters back in the day. And uh, it is bitter roots. And Samford Green has continuously been creating some fantastic film homage covers for the series. What is our number five? It is bitter roots issue thirteen, the Samford Green Beach Street cover. Here it is, guys. I must admit, it's not a book I have seen on my travels before now, but it is added to the radar. Those are the kind of books for me. They don't stay in my PC, but um, if I can find some uh, coin books, you know, for quick flip, I'm all over that sort of book. Covers, I haven't got the room in my PC anymore. What did it do? Well, it sold 10 copies at a seven day trend plus 814% with a high sale raw copy going for $49.99. Now up next, we've got an interesting one. This is a book from 2018 and it is a, a hard to find Kang variant. And this shows up on the list due to an aftermarket boost in sales after they showcased it on a podcast. What is our book? Number four on our list. I'll be surprised if many of you have this. This is Seasons Beatings, Issue 1, the Marco Djurjevic variant. And uh, it is a sweet looking cover. Probably one of the best Kang covers I have seen. Look at that. Of course, Kang is now coming to the MCU in the next Ant-Man movie, Quantumania. Well, that book sold 16 copies at a seven day trend plus 691% with a high sale raw copy going for $44.99. Wow. Number three on our list is a book I just sold this past week for £17. Well, it was all right. I paid £2.50 for it. Picked it up in Bristol. It is a book from 2014. And uh, in a recent comic book resources interview, Scott Snyder gave an update on witches and undiscovered country content uh, adaptations with undiscovered country we're working on the screenplay right now for the new republic he said we have about another four weeks before we land hand in the draft so it's commenced and it's all good and witches is definitely still in development too and i'm glad about witches i've got both books here is witches from 2014 this is a scary book <laughs> it is brutal it is violent Gory, you name it, and to boot, you've got a fantastic jock cover, which always helps. I want to see it on the screen. I think it would be a monster hit. This book sold 102 copies. It had a seven-day trend plus 315% with a high sale CGC 9.8, going for $249.99. I picked this up in Chuke Spray at the Mortise Emporium for two quid. Nice minty copy. Number two on our list. Now, this issue features the first appearance of Supergirl, Sir L, who will be appearing on the CW's The Flash, played by actress Sasha Cow. So here's a new book. I like my, if I can find this book on the cheap, I think I might know where one of these is, is, are. Good Lord. <laughs> number two on our list is Superman Tencent Adventure, issue number one. And it's not often you get uh, CW books getting into the top 20. It's my guilty pleasure. I'm happy enough with the CW. There's your book, guys. Number two on our list. What numbers did it do? Well, it sold 80 copies. Had a seven-day trend of plus 487% with a high sale raw copy going for $24.95. I'm going to be looking for that one tomorrow. Number one on our list. I talked about this book in great depth and uh, 
it is coming is going to be a movie by all accounts it comes from image it is basically top cow and uh i showed you the second printing now we have the first printing number one on our list this time around guys is hardcore issue number one and uh be on the lookout for it guys it's coming to the screen whoa stay with me stay with me there we go guys sorry about that my amateur productions but that's it that is a wrap what numbers did that last number one do i've never seen the book in the world i've got to be honest it sold 50 copies had a seven day trend plus 1115 percent with a high sale near mint plus raw copy going for 74 dollars and 95 cents do you know what guys as much as i like my mainstream i love trying to find those independent books on the cheap i've done pretty well of late uh that's a wrap like i said let's see many i had one two uh three four five six seven it's not a great week for me eight nine ten fifty percent for me guys please leave in the comments how many you got i always like to compare i'll take a victory out i don't care how it comes bye for now